Hey, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician. And in today's video, I want to teach you very quickly how to do volume fades in Reason. There are two main ways of doing these, and I want to show you both of them. The first one applies to both MIDI tracks and audio tracks. And the second one is only going to apply to audio clips. So let's kick off by learning about how to automate the volume for any type of clip and instrument in Reason. Actually, but before I do that, I do want to let you know that I've got a free Reason mixing template. It'll help you mix songs in Reason faster and easier than ever before, save you a lot of time. There's a link down below to download it for free. All right, let's jump in. So the easiest way to automate volume of anything in Reason is to go to any mixer track to the volume section right here, to the level. Right click on it and hit Edit Automation. And now you'll see there's a new little sub section here in the Transport Sequencer section called Level. What you do then is select this pencil tool and you draw in where you want the volume automation to occur. Then you've got to select the little cursor tool here or press Q, double click that section, go back to the pen soul set, uh, pencil cursor with a W or by clicking on it and draw in the fade you want. So it could be something really like gentle or stepped like this. Boom, you want it to jump up. Maybe you want it to fade in. Maybe you even want a curved fade. So in order to get the curve, not just be a straight linear fade, you kind of have to be in this arrow mode and you kind of hover around the line and you'll see this curved cursor pop up, this curved icon. And if you drag it up, you get a fast fade in or out. And if you drag it down, you get a slow version. So let's listen to the linear and then each version. Let's make that a little longer and you can always drag the points. The really slow fade in. And the really fast fade in. So that's way number one. And this applies to both audio and MIDI channels. Basically anything that's on a mixer channel, you can even use it on an effect return or something like that. Let's delete this though and delete the automation. And now let me show you the way that works with only audio clips. But this can often be a faster way of doing basic audio edits. So if you click on any audio clip like this, you can either drag these little handles on the left and right you see what I'm doing here? Or there's these sections here that say fade in and fade out. And you can drag them left or right. And that will control the fade in and the fade out. So if we listen. The big downside of this is that as far as I know, you can only do linear fade ins and fade outs on audio clips using this method. But I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, please do leave a comment down below so that I would know about that. Except I'm going to correct myself because there is one caveat. And this is sort of how to do crossfades with audio files. So this is the final little chunk. If you have two audio files, let's say you've got multiple takes of guitar or bass or vocals, whatever it is, and you drag them so that they sort of overlap, you'll see this crossfade section, this gray section come in and you've got a fade in and a fade out. And then this special icon shows up, which is sort of the crossfade icon, basically. And if you drag it right, the clip on the right fades in really quickly, and the clip on the left fades out really quickly. And if you drag it all the way to the left, it's vice versa. So this can kind of help you control the speed and the pacing of the crossfades of your audio edits, of your comps. I really hope this was a helpful video. Be sure to check out that Reason mixing template. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to watch this next video because it's got more great tips and tricks.